Release is everything. Next, you want a consistent anchor point. With slingshots, you want to shoot consistently. That means shooting the same way every time. So your draw length is very important. In order to have a consistent draw length, you want to make sure you draw back to a consistent spot on your body that is referenced and repeatable. I prefer to use my thumbnail in the corner of my mouth. In doing so, when I come to full draw, I'm going to have the same amount of tension on the bands from shot to shot. Therefore, if you're shooting at a consistent distance, you should be dropping them in the same way every time. So we're just going to take a couple of practice shots here to let you see the form. So I'm standing 90 degrees to my target. My target is out here. I've got my lanyard on. I'm wearing my safety glasses. I found a suitable grip that fits me. I like the thumb brace. My bands are over the top and in their grooves. Sideways, I'm siding down the bands with my dominant eye, much like you'd sight a shotgun with a bead or gap shooting with a bow, siding down that plane. That takes care of your windage. Your elevation is the next. You're going to have to work that one out on your own, depending on your draw length. Oftentimes folks will use a reference point of the tip of the slingshot as their elevation mark. Take a few shots, see where they land. If they're grouping well, but not where you're looking, that's great. You've got consistency. Then all you need to do is change your elevation. The frame hand stays anchored. Come back to full draw and let it go. Just like archery, you want to use some back tension to hold that in there. You don't want to effort too much. And then again, slingshots don't require a lot of effort. Now, if you're having issues with your windage, you're shooting right or left errantly, a couple of things can be happening. It's the follow through. So with your frame hand, if you're holding with your right hand and you keep shooting to the right, what's happening is you're dropping your hand away before the shot clears the slingshot. Again, another uh, argument for locking the hand on solid. Likewise, if you're holding the slingshot in your left hand and the shots are shooting left, you're pushing your frame hand away. So rock solid frame hand. Pay attention to coming back to a consistent anchor point, siding down the bands, and release. Now here's a couple of nuances about slingshots that you'll learn about eventually. Rubber does not like cold weather. So if you are shooting in the cold, the best way to get performance is to keep it close to you. I often like to keep the bands wrapped up in my hand with a projectile in a pouch while I'm out hunting. When I'm ready to take a shot in cold weather, do it quickly. The whole adage of aim long, aim wrong doubly applies to slingshots. The way slingshot elastic works is when you stretch the rubber out, it causes internal friction, which generates heat. It's the latent heat that's in the rubber that allows it to retract back to its relaxed position. It is that retraction that gives slingshot its velocity. The longer you hold this slingshot at full draw, especially in cold weather, the slower your shot's going to be. And if you have a varied amount of time that you hold from shot to shot, you're going to see your elevation change. So consistency is key. We keep uh, coming back to this. Consistency is key. A consistent anchor point, a consistent rock solid frame hand, and a consistent shot time. If you need to take three seconds to get on target, try to make it the same three seconds every time. Don't hang out at full draw for ages. You're not going to get as much out of your slingshot. Besides, slingshots are made to be quick and capable. They're very intuitive and because of our natural pointing ability of where we know in space, our hands are very close. So we can fundamentally get to where we can just lift up and take a shot. We've got lots and lots of videos on the nuances that we explained here at simpleshot.academy. You should really check it out. If you have any problems at all, give us a call. We'll be glad to help you out. Contact us on Facebook or get to us through our contact form on the website. Most of all, get out there and practice. It's a whole lot of fun. Set it up in your backyard, build yourself a catch box. We've got a great video on that so you can recover your ammo. So now you've got another tool in your arsenal that's very pocketable and very capable of profound accuracy and really good power. Remember, like Creek says, it's not if, but when. Slingshot satisfy. Always have one with you. Wear your safety glasses and have fun.